thank you all for being here today. We really appreciate you taking the time. Um, and thank you to my joint sponsor, Representative Mike Haney, for all of his work on this piece of legislation as well. This is House Bill 429. Um, the greatest power the state can utilize is the use of deadly force and the ability to make arrests. This power comes with the burden of maintaining a record. Ohioans' right to these records has been in existence for 200 years. As it relates to this authority of our state, we take pride in having a fair and transparent system. When there are no records with these powers, there is no transparency, and our process no longer remains fair. Ohio currently has over 33 state trained and certified police officers with the authority to seize property, persons, and take lives when necessary. However, under current law, Ohio has over 800 of these peace officers that do not have to maintain a record, nor are they required to furnish information upon request allowable by the Sunshine Law. This bill is not designed to be burdensome of these police forces. However, when you are given this sovereign ability by the state of Ohio to detain or to take the life of an Ohio citizen, it also comes with the duty to keep a record, which is an ensured right to you by the Constitution of this country and the state of Ohio. Uh, turn it over, Great. Thank you. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot of businesses such as hospital, colleges, amusement parks, and banks who have a greater need for police protection than the current local government law enforcement can provide. So they go out and employ their own uh, peace officers. These private police officers have gone through, through the same training. They have the ability to carry a gun. They have the same authority to make arrests in searching and uh, uh, detain people, yet they're not subject to the same public records as the private or the publicly employed peacekeepers. You know, a felony is a crime against the public. And if we're giving these private police officers the same authority to represent the public by making the arrest, then the public needs to have the same ability to scrutinize their actions same as they do the public peacekeepers. So no way is this bill we're trying to disparage what these private police agencies do. You know, they, they provide a very valuable service to not only their employer, but to the community. You know, this bill, we do not want to interfere with the employee-employer relationship. We think that's important that that's, this bill does not infringe upon that um, relationship. There is still some proprietary information which will remain private and not subject to the public view. Public view. But when the private police officer is representing the public by arresting and detaining the citizens, then the public not only has a right, but they really have a duty to hold these police officers accountable. So we had a very good interested party meeting and we're hearing um, some issues that we're not sure that how that the bill dresses quite right, but we'll make sure they do. Um, but as I say, the bill's it's a good bill, we're heading in the right direction, and we'd uh, like to open up for questions now if you guys.